Army fans. Bob Denton, the famous Army fullback, will be unable to play due to a badly sprained shoulder. Tough luck, Bob. Yep. What a shame. They haven't got a chance without Bob. <laughs> Poor Army. Well, have they? See what he did against Pennsylvania last week. Two touchdowns in the first quarter. Well, what's the excitement? Hello, Meg. Hello. The Colonel is heartbroken. His protege is out of the game. His protege? Mrs. Webb. How do you do? Bob Denton, the fullback. Good heavens, Colonel. Don't tell me you actually know Bob Denton. Know him? Go on, Colonel. Tell the lady how you brought the boy up through thick and thin, through poverty and strife. Oh, shut up. The Colonel raised the boy since he was this high. Looks after him like a father. You don't say. Now he's putting him through West Point. How terribly exciting. Oh, I've been dying to meet Bob Denton for years. Will you introduce us after the game, Colonel? If you're willing to wait in line. Thousands of beautiful women will be there ahead of you. It may take hours. We'll bring our lunch. I've seen women and children trampled to death. But think of the joy if you survive. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, here comes Nathan. Run down and stop that chewing. Doc's got an idea. I'll be right back. <laughs> What'll I do about the peanut then? <laughs> Strangle them. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Listen, Al. Bob Denton's coming up to your house after the game, isn't he? Sure he is. Well, how about inviting the rest of us up for a good cheer party? Okay. I've seen in years. Now, if we can only kick that goal... The game will be all over. How's the shoulder, Bob? Fine, sir. That extra point means game. Go in and make it. It's Bob! They're sending him in for the kick. That's a pretty tough assignment. Gee, this is thrilling. Shh.
signal for a forward pass. Throw it. Don't stand there hugging the ball as if it were a dame. Can't lighten and do a little necking without you raising a fuss. What you guys talking about? We completed the pass, didn't we? Yeah, thanks to me. I had the whole Navy team on my tail before you threw it. What were you waiting for? Boys, my dear boy. Always remember that. Never lose your poise. It's a secret of my success. Oh, Paul, you were posing for the newsreel. <laughs> Mine's a gent with a well-known poise. He walked up to that ball as if he was going to pick a daisy. And Zowie, it was all over. I never saw anybody so calm. Calm? Boy, I was scared stiff. <laughs> Congratulations, boys. Thank you, sir. That was a pretty throw, Lightning. Took your time, measured your distance, and let her go. Excellent. Thank you, sir. Fine. Thank you, sir. Splendid, old man. Thanks, young fella. I'm proud of you, boy. Ah, uh, there, there. Have a good cry and get it over with. You're a low cuss. Won't even let a sentimental old man have a little fun. Go to it. Listen, the only thing that makes the whole business worthwhile is that you get a kick out of it. You know that, don't you? <laughs> well, what's on the program? Several of the ladies in my party want to meet you. Very charming, too. Charming? That generally means fat and over 40. No, thanks. Tell me out. Oh, they'll be terribly disappointed. Had their hearts set on taking you home for tea. Poor girls. Ah, they'll get over that. Well, it's a dirty trick to play on me. I suppose I'll have to go by myself now. What are you going to do? I have a most urgent call to make on a very lovely and fascinating female. Well, now, you can do that tomorrow, can't you? Not a chance. We go back to the point first thing in the morning. Those women you're running around with are going to give you a lot of trouble one of these days. Ah, uh, not little Willie, no, sir. My women understand me. They take one look and know they can expect nothing. And you give it to them, I suppose. Ah, uh, with a dash of Denton dressing. Gee, I got the thrill of my life when you came on the field today. Well, nobody will ever know how nervous I was. I thought sure I'd miss. Oh, I knew you'd make it. I was praying for you. Were you? <clears throat> Something fierce. <gasps> Bob. Huh? What's the matter? Matter? Don't be silly, Ev. I'm all right. Sure is good looking, this sister of yours. She'll be dangerous competition for me. I'm not so sure I want you to meet her. Ever tell her about us? No. Why? Well, nothing. I was just wondering. The only thing I did tell her was that she might have a brother-in-law someday. Oh. And she wrote back that she'd stand by for further announcements. Bob, what is the matter? Nothing. Only we ought to have a serious talk. Yes? Yes. I graduate this year. Chances are I'll be assigned to Colonel Bonham's post in Arizona. Is that so? Or the Philippines, or someplace like that. And it looks like we aren't going to see much of each other from now on. Not see each other? Well, I don't see how we can except once in a long while, and that wouldn't work out. No, it wouldn't. We can't go on like this indefinitely. And I thought, in fairness to you...
I understand. I'm sorry to spring it on you like this, Ev. I know it's kind of sudden. But it's got to be done. I wanted to be honest with you. What we've been to each other hasn't meant a thing to you, has it, Bob? Oh, of course it has, hon. But I thought we had an understanding between us. We weren't going to account to each other or ask questions. When one of us was ready to shout quits, why, that was going to be that. That's right. We did agree to that. And you're ready to shout quits. All right, Bob. Quits it is. this afternoon. It has been autographed by all of the players on both teams, and tonight I am going to auction it off to the highest bidder. <laughs> it's a trophy that anybody would be proud to own. The proceeds are to be donated to the American Legion to help the unemployed. Who'll start the bidding? Good. Come on. $50. $75. $85. $100. $100 is bid by Colonel Bonham. Oh. <laughs> Only $100 for this wonderful trophy. Who'll pay $125? Remember, it has the signatures of all the players. Why, it's worth $125 just for Bob Denton's autograph. Yeah. <laughs> $125. $150. $200. Yeah. <laughs> This place is getting on my nerves. How about going places? Well, I know lots of them. Well, come on, let's hunt them up. I bid 250. 250. 275. 300. Hey, Captain Williams, I know where you can get a football for a dollar and a quarter. Shh. 325. 350. 375. 400. 400 is bid. Any more? On, folks. Remember, it's for the unemployed. Of course, I don't expect the Navy to do much bidding, but how about you Army men? $500. $500. I'm bid $500. Any more bids? Going. Going. Gone. Sold to Colonel Benham for $500. You are Colonel Bonham. Thank you very much. You're a very charming auctioneer. Thanks again. I'm sorry I overbid you that way. But you see, I've wanted this ball more than anything else in the world. Bob Denton is... He's a sort of protege of mine. I see. I suppose you think I'm a sentimental old fool. Oh, not at all. I think it's very sweet. So you'll forgive me, I know, for snatching it right out of your hands. <laughs> I'm sure it can't mean as much to you as it does to me. Oh, I don't suppose so. If you two will stop weeping on each other's shoulders for a minute, I'll introduce you. This is Colonel Bonham, Miss Palmer. How do you do? I, I wish there was some way in which I could repay you for your disappointment. As a matter of fact, there is. You can dance with me. Well, uh, that will place me even more in your debt. Oh, <laughs> Oh, thank you.
in case you don't know it, gal, that last dance you had with the colonel made five in a row. You don't say. I do say. I've been keeping track. What's the big idea? Nothing. I just like the way he dances, that's all. I see. He's handsome, isn't he? Say, what's going on in that funny little mind of yours? Nothing. Come clean, woman. You can't fool me. I know when you're on the warpath. Think he likes me? Likes you? You've got him prancing around like a freshman at a prom. <laughs> Watch your step, Ev. What for? I've been watching my step all my life. And what did it get me? At least you've hung on to your pride. Have I? Got an awful jolt today. I know it did, hon. But don't you worry. My pride may be tottering, but it's going to be restored. And by my friend, the Colonel. The Colonel? I'm going to prove to someone that I'm fit to associate with respectability. Well, don't stub your toe in the process. I won't. Indian poppy. Oh, yeah. Oh, here's the beauty, isn't it? Empress Xenia. Glorious, isn't it? I'd like a gown that color. Oh, I'd much rather see you in one the color of this. Hmm? Just matches your eyes. Oh! In spite of the fact that you suggested coming here, I'm afraid you're bored to death. Of course I'm not. I'm enjoying every minute of it. Well, it's a rare treat for me. See, we don't have many flowers in Arizona. Most of our foliage is sagebrush and cactus. I'm crazy about cactus. Are you timing those eggs? <laughs> What's the matter? I'm afraid they're going to be a trifle too hard. They've been boiling exactly 11 minutes. What? Well, that's the end of your contribution to the evening meal. Oh, I'm so sorry. Now then, out of the kitchen, young man. You're no help at all. Oh, please give me another chance. I couldn't keep my eyes off you. Oh, bunk. You've no right to be so beautiful. More bunk. Go set the table. All right. And do be careful of the china. You know, this has been the most enjoyable trip I've ever had to New York. Has it? I'm very grateful to you. You've made it very pleasant. Well, I hate to think of this being your last day. Will you miss me? Oh, lot. Arizona seems so far away. Then why don't you come along? Well, now, what would I do in Arizona? Oh, lots of things. It's a very beautiful country. And there's lots of cactus there. <laughs> well, that wouldn't be enough attraction. Your sister would be crazy about it. <laughs> well, are you inviting her or me? Both. You see, she could live with us. If we were married. Why, Frank, you're proposing to me. 
That's just what I'm doing, Evelyn. Oh, the suit. My train doesn't leave until two tomorrow. We can be married in the morning. Now, what do you say? You're the commanding officer, Frank. Won't Bob get a kick, though, when he hears about this? Do you know what I think I'll do? I'll phone him right now. This is Colonel Bonham in Miss Palmer's apartment. Will you please get me the United States Military Academy at West Point? Thank you. Oh, wait till he hears this news. Oh, boy. United States Military Academy, West Point. Just a moment. Hello? Cadet Denton, please. Colonel Bonham calling. I'm sorry, Colonel. Cadet Denton is out on maneuvers. He won't be back till tomorrow night. He is? Well, tell him... Never mind. I'll wire him. He's out on maneuvers. Now we'll have to get married without telling. Oh. Isn't that too bad? Mrs. Bonham? Come in. Telegram, sir. Thank you. Coming out to Arizona. He's been assigned to my post. That's great, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Here, read it. It's very funny. <laughs> oh, ladies home, huh? That young upstart has a surprise in store for him when he sees you. Yes, he certainly has. <laughs> oh, ladies home. Excellent body of men. I'm proud of them. And I'm proud of you. After all, you're responsible for their training. <laughs> you, you didn't realize what a brilliant husband you had. Oh, 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 oh. 
Not so fast. You'll spoil me. You're worthwhile spoiling me. You're a darling. You. Where have you been? Oh, I've had the swellest time. I've been all over the ground. Young lady, what do you mean by dashing up here like a wild steer? We're supposed to maintain a certain amount of dignity in the army. Oh, I think the whole thing's silly anyway. Making those poor soldiers march around in the sun when they could be out having a lot of fun. You'd make a great officer. You wouldn't have much of an army, but <laughs> the men would certainly be crazy about you. Well, that's the idea. Uh, oh, I see. So you did have a good ride, huh? What a grand time. That's fine. That's fine. Thanks. Oh, uh, Blake. Yes, sir. How's the new mare? A little jumpy, sir. Well, you keep working her every day. She'll quiet down. Yes, sir. And when she's behaving herself, you let me know. Yes, sir. I got her from Miss Bonita. But don't tell anyone. It's a secret. Yes, sir. Lieutenant Robert Denton, West Point, reporting for duty, sir. Bob, you old son of a gun. Hello, old pal. Well, where did you drop from? We weren't expecting you until tomorrow. Well, I flew as far as Wichita. <laughs> Boy, you look great. Thanks, and I'm feeling twice as good. Come on in. I've got a great treat for you. Uh, the wife, eh? Uh-huh. <laughs> America's bachelor finally snapped. Ah, uh, but will you see her? I'm as happy as a two-year-old. Gee, that's swell. <laughs> My wife, Bob. Evelyn, this is the scoundrel I've been telling you so much about. Lieutenant Denton. How do you do, Lieutenant? Welcome to Arizona. <laughs> Bob, I wish you could see your face. <laughs> so you expected to meet the inmate of an old lady's home, did you? I knew you'd get a shock. Yes, I did. Rather. Please introduce me. Why, of course. Bob, this is Bonnie, Evelyn's sister. How do you do? And I warn you, she's dynamite. That's right, Lieutenant. I'm likely to explode any minute. <laughs> she's been here only a few days, and already six officers are on the verge of suicide. Oh. Well, from the stories <laughs> I've heard about Lieutenant Denton, that shouldn't frighten him at all. Oh, no? No. I hear you have rather a masterful touch with the lady. <laughs> I should say he has. You should see the way he treats them. Why, it's disgraceful. He, he charms them until they frost at the mouth. And then he thrusts them out of his life. What a man. Has he done that to many women? Mm, droves of them. There should be a law against him. Either that or the women should be given more brains. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Our, our women ought to be given more brains. Well, now that you've torn me to shreds, where do I report for duty? The adjutant at headquarters. Thanks. Oh, uh, wait a minute. I I'll show you where it is. Well, you needn't bother. I have my car outside, Miss Bonnie. It's all right. I was going that way. Bonnie, perhaps the lieutenant doesn't want you tagging along. Say, Bob, how about having dinner with us tonight? Well, I don't know. I... Uh... Please do. Yes, why not, lieutenant? It'll give us a chance to become better acquainted. Well, as long as it's unanimous, I'd be glad to. Good. Seven o'clock. Mrs. Bonham, it's been a pleasure. Thank you. the whole truth at full gallop charging the other way. <laughs> <laughs> that coffee in the other room, dear? Yes, it's cooler in there. Major, how about those new horses for Troop D? Well, they're better than the last lot, that new Wyoming breed. A uh, bit rangy, but hard. Stand a lot. Good. That outfit can do with better horses. Don't accept them, Major, until I've tried them out. We were talking about horses, not soldiers. Ouch! <laughs> oh, Bob, come in here. Got something I want to show you. So have I. The view from the terrace. The finest in Arizona, Lieutenant, and the first thing that newcomers have to see. I'll bring you right back. All right. This is really a magnificent view of the valley. 
particularly by moonlight. What a rotten thing to do. Why, Lieutenant, I thought you'd really enjoy seeing... Uh... You know what I mean. Sorry you don't approve of my marrying the Colonel. Perhaps we should have spoken to you first. Well, if you had, things would have been different. I suppose you'd have rushed to him with a choice bit of scandal. Well, it isn't too late. You can still do it. Go on in there and announce to the crowd that Colonel Bonham's wife was... Don't say that. Think what a dramatic gesture it would be. You're pretty sure of yourself, aren't you? You know I can't tell him. Well, I'm not stopping you. It's obvious that he's in love with you. Everything he says and does shows that. You see, there's no accounting for taste. I'm Mrs. Colonel Bonham now. How do you like that? Say, what's the idea of monopolizing our guest of honor? Your sister was showing me the sights. Don't you know it's scandalous to watch a new moon with a married woman? Besides, I thought I was to be your official guide. Well, you are. Well, then I'm the one to show you the new moon. Well, as a matter of fact, I was so absorbed in your sister that I merely glanced at it. You come along and get absorbed in me. <laughs> Careful, Bonnie. Remember the lieutenant's reputation. Oh, I love dangerous men. Besides, I can always scream for help. Well, wait a minute. Let me hear you scream. Is that the best you can do? I'm afraid so. And sometimes you lose your voice entirely? Uh-huh. Come on, let's go. <laughs> now, Lieutenant, the points of interest are as follows. On the right, we have the barracks. On your immediate left is a little girl who has a weakness for Lieutenant. Where's Bob? Captured by Bonnie. Oh. How do you like him? He's a great boy, isn't he? Charming. I'm mighty glad he's here. It'll make things more interesting for you. Undoubtedly. Still love me? <laughs> more every day. Funny face. Who told you you could come around and watch us work? Nobody said I couldn't. Well, from now on, you're barred. I don't want you seeing me at my worst. And when I'm in command, I'm terrible. Why, I thought you were grand. You look so ferocious. You like that, eh? I love it. It makes you look so very important. And what a voice you've got. Attention! <laughs> <laughs> it's so loud, it frightens me. Yeah, it scares me sometimes. Hope you don't use that voice on me after we're married. Married? Who said anything about marriage? Oh, didn't you know? Why, well, I had it all figured out right from the beginning. The moment I saw you, I said to myself, Bonnie, old gal, meet that husband. I see, and I wasn't to have a word to say about oh, it. Oh, no, not a word. You know what I said the first time I saw you? What? I said, Bob, old boy, when better officers are made, Benito will make them. Oh, darling, this is so sudden. <laughs>
in front of the whole wide world. Well, who cares? Please come in, my love. I'll make the tea myself. With your own little white hands? Mm-hmm. And I'll give you some cookies that Evelyn made, guaranteed to melt in your mouth. Well, that sounds like a song. Oh, the cookies that melt in your mouth, dear heart. Oh, the cookies, cookies that, that Evelyn, Evelyn made. made. Oh, the, the cookies, cookies that, that melt, melt in your mouth, dear heart. Oh, the cookies that Evelyn made. The cookies, the cookies, the cookies that Evelyn made. Your heart, the cookies, the cookies, the cookies that Evelyn made. Hello, Evelyn. Look, I brought home a cash customer for tea. How nice. Good afternoon, Mrs. Bonham. I had to tempt him with your cookies before he come in. I'm going to make the tea. The cookies. Cigarette. Thanks. You and Benita have been seeing a great deal of each other, haven't you? Yes. She's a great girl. Well, it's got to stop, Bob. What's got to stop? You're seeing Barney. Why? Because she's falling in love with you. Oh, what's the matter with that? Perhaps I'm falling in love with her. You in love. Oh, don't make me laugh. All you're interested in is another scout to add to your famous collection. The cookies, the cookies, the cookies that Evelyn made. Here, Here we are. Bob, you pull up those chairs. Oh, gosh, I forgot the cookies. Are you two entertaining each other? Your sister is always entertaining. Keep him warmed up and I'll be right back and take him over. What's the idea, Evelyn? Do you object to me because of what happened between us? No. What then? I have no idea of letting my sister make the same mistake I made. I'm warning you, Bob. Get up, everybody. Here I come. Well, you're a great help. Thought I asked you to arrange the chairs. I forgot all about it. It's all right. Here. Taste one of those cookies. Good? Great. Ah, we're a success, Evelyn. He likes our cookies. Aren't you flattered? Oh, I'm overjoyed. <laughs> and because you're such an expert lieutenant, I'm packing bales and bales of them along to the picnic. What picnic? Oh, haven't you heard? We're going to a desert picnic tomorrow night. Nobody invited me. Well, you're invited right now. Oh, I'm afraid we won't be able to go, Bonnie. Why not? Well, the Colonel isn't sure he can get away. Oh, that's all right. I'll go with Bob. You'll take me, won't you, Bob? Perhaps the Lieutenant has other plans. I know. I'd be very glad to take her. I don't understand it, Bob. Evelyn's never interfered with me before. What did she say? Oh, told me a yarn about you and some girl you were mixed up with in New York. Some friend of hers. Oh. She said you treated her terribly. You believed her, of course. Oh, I can't. I couldn't believe you'd be rotten to anyone. You weren't, were you? Maybe. From a girl's point of view. What do you mean? She wanted me to marry her. Yes, I know. Evelyn told me. She feels you should have. Why? I didn't love the girl. You wouldn't expect me to marry someone I didn't love, would you? Gee, I'm glad you didn't. Oh, Bunny, you're a peach, and I love you. You believe that, don't you? Yes. You know, Bunny, if it weren't for your sister, we could be married right away.
bomb. Let's do it anyway. We don't have to tell her about it. Why, we don't have to tell anyone till we've won her over. And I'm sure if I talk to her... Bonnie, that's an idea. And I can get Ralph Taylor to take us down to Mexico in his plane. He'd keep quiet. Oh, Bob, when? Is tomorrow too soon? Oh, tomorrow's a million years away. Well, is everything okay? Thanks a lot, Ralph. Ah, uh, don't mention it. I always did want to see how it was done. You know, all I need now is a girl. Well, remember, not a peep to anybody about this. Well, me no speak of the English. Oh, mom's a word in any language. <laughs> Thanks, Alfred. So long. Goodbye. Good luck to you. Thanks, thanks. Jack, I'll beat it back to the post and see the quartermaster. I'll have that new radio outfit sent up the minute it arrives. So long, boy. All right, Bob. So long. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, sweetheart. Criados, <laughs> cobardes, you don't poco hombres. the post. I'll take you there. But after that, you'll have to take care of yourself. A thousand thanks, senor. That's all right. Say, you're lit. Oh, no. I know I won't drink the whole week. <laughs> <laughs> well, if that's so, it certainly stays with you a long time. I'm Conchita. I work in Luis Cantina. Those men called me bad names and threw me at the car. Oh, but I fool them. Yeah, how's that? I still leave me pack at the car when they do not look. That is one reason they throw me out. One of them, eh? Better take it easy. That stuff will kill you. Oh, no, not me. I think this when I was a baby. Oh, maybe you like drinking. No, thanks. All right. Holy mackerel. Oh, you better save it. The way you go at it, there's just about one drink left. Oh, it is for you, baby. I told you I don't want it. Oh, continue to be very angry if you do not drink. Now, listen, behave yourself or I'll throw you out. Oh, no, you look... Cut it out, I tell you. Oh, no. Cut it out. Hello, 
Evelyn. Hello, Evelyn. Drive on, Waters. Now look at the mess you've got me into. Get out. Oh, Conchita, to be good. Oh, get in the back end. Behave yourself now, or I'll throw you out on your neck. Si, senor. Evelyn, I want to explain. Evelyn, listen. I know it looks bad, but the girl was drunk. I'm not interested in your explanation. Oh, I know what you think of me. That's bad enough, but for heaven's sakes, don't hold this against me. I gave the girl a lift and she got sloppy on me. You expect me to believe that? That's the truth, Evelyn. Oh, don't make me laugh. That woman's just about your class. What's going on here? The woman's drunk, sir. We're trying to get her to leave, sir. Well, what does she want? I want my baby. She wants a what? I think she said baby, sir. Baby? Well, who's got her baby? I think she means Lieutenant Denton, sir. Lieutenant Denton? Yes, sir. He brought her here. She was standing up in the back of his car dancing. He asked us to get rid of her, sir. Was he drunk? I don't know, sir. I wasn't here. Find Lieutenant Denton and have him report to my office at once. Oh, Colonel, I think I just saw the lieutenant going into your house. Oh, he did? All right, never mind. Come on, out you go. Oh, no, I You're don't going want to go. Bob, this is the finish. You've got to stay away from my sister, do you hear? I don't see why. Because I won't have it, that's why. You're taking a very ridiculous attitude. Because I'm trying to protect my own sister? Oh, your sister doesn't need protection. She does with you around. I'm sorry you're acting this way, but there's nothing you can do about it. Evelyn. Evelyn. Evelyn, what is it? What, what, what has happened? Now you must tell. What have you got to say for yourself? Nothing, sir.
I'll expect your resignation from the service in the morning. Please tell me what's happened. Bob? Why don't you say something? Lieutenant Denton to see you, sir. Show me. My resignation, sir. <clears throat> Will there be any objection to my leaving the post immediately? I don't think so. Thank you, sir. You want me, Colonel? Lieutenant Denton is resigning from the service. Resigning? Yes. He wants to leave the post at once. Send this to Washington immediately with my recommendation that it be accepted without delay. Well, what's the idea, Bob? Just got fed up, that's all. Thought I might try some other business. What are you going to do? Oh, I don't know. Sell soap, maybe. Anything else, Colonel? Nothing else. Well, so long, Captain. Good luck, Bob. I'm mighty sorry to see you go. Thanks. The Army is losing a fine officer, Colonel. Yes. No use acting this way, Bonnie. You've got to forget him. You must, dear. You've got to pull yourself together. Brooding won't help. Evelyn, I want to know just what happened last night. Now, we've gone over all that, dear. I told you all about it. But I want the truth. Oh, I know Bob didn't make love to you. You can't make me believe it. I warned you against him a long time ago. Oh, what happened, Evelyn? What really happened? Now listen to me. I've always taken good care of you, haven't I? Yes. All I'm thinking about is your happiness. You know that, don't you? Then give up Bob Denton. Forget him. And someday you'll be glad that you did. Evelyn, Bob and I are married. Married? Yes, we knew you'd object, so we kept it a secret. Oh, you shouldn't have done it, Bonnie. You had no right to do it without telling me. Oh, I couldn't, Dale. You'd only have made a fuss about it, and I was afraid of losing it. <laughs> he means that much to you. Oh, I don't want to live without him, Evelyn. Nothing means anything without Bob. Oh, don't you understand? <laughs> 
I had no idea he meant that much to you. Come in. Mrs. Bonham, sir. Frank, has Bob handed in his resignation yet? Yes, it's being mailed to Washington. Don't let it go. Why not? Well, I've been thinking a great deal about last night. He was drunk. He didn't know what he was doing. I'm sorry, but that's no excuse, my dear. The army is no place for him. Frank, Bob and Bonnie are married. What? I just found it out. They've been married for a month. Do you mean to tell me that he was married to your own sister when he came into your room last night? Yes. And you want me to recall his resignation? Are you mad? I'm thinking of Bonnie. She'll be heartbroken. She's lucky to be rid of him. We'll start divorce proceedings immediately. No, Frank. No. What's got into you anyway, Evelyn? Are you willing to condone the thing he did? Frank, Bob was innocent last night. What do you mean? Well, it was all my fault. I deliberately compromised him. You what? I didn't want Bonnie to fall in love with him. I don't understand. Oh, I was afraid he wouldn't make her happy. I've heard so many stories about him. I asked him not to see her, but he refused. I pleaded with Bonnie, but she wouldn't listen. Oh, I was desperate. Frank, I thought if I could put him in a bad light... That's a crazy story, Evelyn. What do you mean? I mean that I don't believe you. It's quite obvious what you're trying to do. You just found out that he was your sister's husband. And you're trying to save his neck. Mighty fine of you, Evelyn. But it won't work. <clears throat> Come in. Oh, I'm sorry. That's all right, Evan. What is it? Lieutenant Denton's resignation, sir. I have the letter all ready for your signature. Thank you. The mail leaves in about a half hour. I'll attend to it right away. Yes, sir. Frank, don't sign it. What I told you about last night is the truth. It's ridiculous. You hadn't enough reason to do anything so drastic. Oh, yes, I had. Why, you don't know anything about the boy except what I do. That's not so. I know a lot about him. I knew of a girl in New York who was his sweetheart for two years. Well, you never told me that. He was rotten to her. She was madly in love with him, expected him to marry her. All her friends knew about it, but he let her down one day, cruelly. Told her out of a clear sky he had no idea of ever marrying her. The girl was heartbroken. I was afraid he'd do the same thing to Bonnie. I wanted to protect her. Your attitude is childish. Just because of some common girl that he ran around with. Don't you understand what I've been trying to tell you? I was that girl. You? I'm going to tell you the whole story. 
It isn't a pretty one. You're going to hate me when I'm through. But if we never see each other again, I want you to know one thing. I love you. And I always will. You've just got to tell me what happened last night. There's nothing to tell, Bonnie. Well, I have a right to know. You just can't go off like this and leave me. Oh, I know you're hiding something. Oh, you don't think anybody can get me to believe that story, do you? Why not? Because it isn't true. Well, it can't be. And if you leave, I'm going with you. You can't do that, Bonnie. Bob, you want me to, don't you? Of course. But your sister will have something to say about that. Well, I won't listen to her. She can't run my life for me. I'm your wife, Bob. And I'm going with you. That's right, Bonnie. A wife should always be with her husband. I've just had a long talk with Evelyn. She's told me everything. It's all right, Bob. I understand. About last night, Bonnie, well, your sister loved you too much. That's all. some help? Yes. You might close the trunk. I'm having Bob transferred to San Francisco. 